If a dog likes you, you have a friend for life. They can be fiercely loyal and loving and can make the ultimate companion. Some are also ultra protective and can prove quite the opponent when they feel their owner or friend is in danger. Today's video is all about dogs. Who doesn't love these fluffy, cute animals? Just look at the dog's smile and it will immediately melt your heart. They're just so cute. Welcome home. The moment SPC Abraham Christian entered the room after touring Afghanistan with the Army's 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 10th Mountain Division, Max, a four-year-old Ridgeback boxer mix, was unable to contain his joy. On March 19th, almost as soon as Abraham enters the residence, Max sprints down the hallway of his Sackets Harbor, New York, USA home. The dog leaps all over his returning owner while the camera is safely fastened to his back, creating an almost sickening whirling motion. Max begins to roll on his back in ecstasy after his initial leap, giving Abraham a worm's eye view of his obvious happiness. Abraham's wife, Samantha, said, Every time Abraham goes away, Max misses him terribly. Abe waited outside while I entered the house first to secure the GoPro harness. When I entered the house, Max immediately began to leap and cry because he could scent Abraham. Prior to letting Abraham know he could enter the house, I did my utmost to calm him down. Max is only referred to as Maximo by Abraham, who can be heard yelling it. You can see his ears lift up at that point, and he knew. Max was reported as a stray when he was just nine weeks old, and Samantha and Abraham were able to save him. Abraham enlisted in the Army in 2013, declining an acceptance to attend law school, and spent the entire 2015 years stationed in Korea. He stays in touch with Samantha and Max when away from home, including video phoning the grumpy dog. Samson said, Every time Abraham goes away, Max misses him terribly. Max cries and mopes around the home when Abraham has to leave for work. Max attempts to put his 60-pound body in his lap when he gets home, though. It's been 11 days since Abraham returned home, but Max still won't leave his side. Till the end. A 92-year-old widow who gave a nice donation to their charity sent a note that warmed the hearts of the volunteers at a canine rescue center. Doris Cheadle of Simbran gave Hope Rescue in Lanahan 100 pounds last month that she had raised by baking cakes and preparing jam. But what also attracted people's attention was the note she provided along with the cash. I am presenting 100 pounds that I raised through baking and creating preserves, it stated. I love dogs and am 92 years old, but I am currently too old to own a dog. Hope this is helpful. The remark actually had such an impact on the center's staff that they couldn't not publish it on social media. Since the message was published on the charity's Facebook page, dog lovers throughout the nation have liked it more than 2,000 times, expressing their admiration for the kind gesture. One person commented, Absolutely fantastic. What a blessing to be thinking of others at that age. She's a great example to all of us. And another added, How sweet this is, sitting here in tears right now. What a great thing to do, a special lady, said a third person. For Doris, who has devoted the most of her life to attempting to assist needy animals, it was nothing new. The retired secretary added, I started working at an animal charity shop in Pontoid several years ago and have always maintained dogs. Because she produces so much food for charitable organizations, the local council had to audit her kitchen, giving her a five-star hygiene grade. I would bake cakes, make jams and marmalades to sell at various fairs and tea parties to raise money. And my late husband, Raymond, who made pickled onions, would do so. But due to my asthma, I couldn't accomplish those myself. Doris continued by expressing her continued affection for her and Ray's final two pets, Bonnie and Mandy. They were both active, intelligent, and survived to be ripe old ages of 15. Mandy, a mixed-breed corgi, Alsatian, and Labrador, was also the runt of her litter. Even when I volunteered with a local Girl Guides group, she would accompany me on camping trips. Everyone would worry over her, and she'd have her own little sleeping bag and tent. I absolutely miss owning a dog, but given my current mobility limitations, I would find it difficult to walk one. But fortunately, every dog owner in my area sends their canine companions over to visit me once a week. Actually, the dogs drag their owners here since they're aware that I give them treats. What? It's you! 
When she returned after training with an army recruit's dog, the animal was so startled to see her that he had no idea who she was until he drew closer and sprang into her arms in jubilation. Murphy, age 20, was left at her parents' home in Salem, Ohio. While Jana Berger, also 20, underwent months of advanced training and 10 weeks of basic army training. Her dog had no idea who she was by the time she was granted permission to go home. She met her pet while wearing her military uniform, which may have made the dog more perplexed. The father of Miss Berger advises her to remove her hat so that Murphy can see her. I was really disappointed when he initially failed to recognize me, she added. A recently discovered video from the reunion in 2017 shows Miss Berger calling out Murphy's name as she bent down for the special occasion. The dog, who had spent the previous three years living with Miss Berger, was startled when he saw her when he leaped out of the home and he spun around to run and hide behind a car. Murphy went around the car again, this time toward Miss Berger, but stopped and turned to face her father, who had taken to waiting outside Miss Berger's bedroom door for her return. He nearly appeared to be looking for confirmation that the person in front of him was in fact his owner. The dog approached and then backed off while waggling his tail. He appeared to be either shocked or to have mistakenly thought he was meeting a new person. Murphy stepped closer and let her gently pet him as Miss Berger's father sat down to console him. Murphy moved up onto her knee to lick her face as he drew even closer. He immediately recognized who she was as she was giving him a hug, and in his excitement, he knocked her over. The dog sprang around his owner as he came home, his entire body trembling with delight. Murphy's response when Miss Berger eventually arrived home surprised her, she said. When he realized it was me, that was the happiest moment of my life, she said. I hope to spend many more years with him by my side, she said. He's been the light of my life for more than three years now. During basic training, Miss Berger was away for at least 10 weeks, and she continued to be absent as she finished her advanced individual training to specialize in her chosen field. Murphy spent that time sleeping outside of her bedroom in her parents' house. The first letter my mother wrote to me mentioned how Murphy had been waiting outside my room each day since I had left, the woman claimed. Every day while I was in AIT in basic training, I was thinking about Murphy. Given that I was aware that he had no idea when or if I would return, I believe I missed him more than my family. My best buddy visited my house one day, discovered Murphy dozing outside my bed, and took a photo of his paw print to mail to me. For the remainder of basic, it was hanging inside my locker on a Band-Aid. Miss Berger recently completed her training, and it's anticipated that she'll move into a new off-base residence in the coming months. Murphy will travel with her. Can't Contain Emotions Having to be apart from our dogs is difficult. Leaving our dogs at home, even for a brief while, can be difficult for us, but our pets also have to struggle with it. They frequently question why they must remain at home while we're gone. Additionally, military personnel frequently undergo deployments. It's a requirement of the position and part of life in general. They had to say goodbye to their dogs in addition to saying goodbye to their friends and family for a while. Given that dogs frequently don't understand why their owners must leave them for extended periods of time, that's undoubtedly one of the harder goodbyes. Homecomings for service members are always emotional occasions. When soldiers see their loved ones, they're filled with excitement and genuine delight, and their families are ecstatic to see them home after a deployment. One homecoming reunion, however, consistently touches people's emotions, and that is witnessing troops returning with their canines after being apart for months. People are always moved by their obvious affection and camaraderie between dog owners and their canine companions. It makes sense why these films are always so well-liked. One soldier finally gets to see her puppy at the airport after months of being apart due to deployment. When the dog welcomes his owner, it's evident that he's swamped by a variety of feelings and emotions. He even starts crying. It's adorable to watch as the puppy starts to make a loud, high-pitched noise that we can only presume is the canine equivalent of sobbing with joy. And it's evident that the owner is as moved to see her cherished dog after such a long separation. Union After Being Stolen A dog who'd been separated from her owners for nearly a year was seen in a touching video being reunited with them. One-year-old Cavapoo Honey went missing in Shrewsbury in July of last year and was discovered on May 22nd in Cheshire, about 50 miles away, on a country road. When local dog groomer Carol Pynchon scanned the female pup's microchip, 
She was appalled to see that her totally matted fur measured over three inches thick. Before leaving the dog the following morning, she contacted her owners and requested authorization to trim her fur. In a video, Honey slowly approached her owner, who's squatting on the ground, before recognizing him and leaping up and excitedly waving her tail. Then she dashes after him to meet a different relative. She ran up to her owner saying, Oh, hi, somebody else, according to Carol, a jade dog grooming employee, who told the mirror. And then she stops for a minute as if she's thinking, Hang on, took a split second, and then just realizes. It's really great to watch that little lighting moment where she realizes, Oh, it's dad, and immediately comes to her mother. She recalled how she first discovered Honey and said, She was completely matted to the skin. And in my 35 years as a dog groomer, I've seen some horrifying pictures of pets that have come in for grooming. In order for him to see the dog in the car, I actually had to WhatsApp the owner, and even then he inquired as to whether it wasn't done for financial gain. The dog obviously looked entirely different, so I removed the fur from her eyes and he immediately remarked, that's my girl. If it's okay with you, I'll take her home to get her shaved, then the next day I dropped her off. In response to a question about whether the 49-year-old thinks Honey was kidnapped, she added, they reside in a very rural area, and all but one gate leading outside are enclosed in their garden. She needs to figure out a way to go from Shrewsbury to Ellesmere Port. All in that time, nobody had seen a dog. She hasn't seen the vet or a dog groomer. She'd never been shaved before, and the chip reader would detect through matted fur, so she was unable to receive veterinary care. I genuinely believe that she'd been concealed because someone would complain if they saw that dog going down the street, she'd been kept out of sight. Fortunately, Honey's owners had just two days earlier updated her microchip information before she was discovered by a bystander. Carol uttered, Considering how many animals are kidnapped, it inspires people. Because not all pet chips are registered, it might just make someone go to a vet and get them checked, go to a groomer's, or realize the necessity of monitoring their chips.